All right, guys, so we are unboxing the Arma Typhon and uh, just got it out of the box here. And we're taking a look at some things. Really, really nice build. Definitely, if you've got a Creighton or another Arma, some things are gonna look very familiar here. I notice it's so low and um, really nicely laid out, a very low profile. Actually bought some red nuts for here because I, I really like the look of the 3S Arma Typhons a little more than the 6S, sorry guys. And I, I noticed there's so much red on the wheels. I thought, oh, that's really cool. So I bought some red nuts. I'll switch them out here in a minute, but tires feel really good. A lot of foam in them. Um, suspension feels amazing. Check this out. I mean, look at that damping. Really slow, nice, pure quality. Uh, amazing, amazing. Everything looks good. Uh, no real front bumper, just a little small bumper there. Um, very, very similar to the Creighton that I'm used to. Skid plate, um, really nice. Also bought some 3S tires for this. I was gonna see if those work better. Um, but gearing, of course, all metal on the Armas, which is great. And uh, man, this thing is gonna be a absolute beast. A beast. So I did manage to uh, open up the Spectrum remote. And if you guys are using these, you know, let me know what you think. A lot of people in the forums don't like them and they say they're no good. Um, they seem to have a lot of good controls on them, but just something about them feels really clunky and off. Um, I like this to be a little tighter, so my fingers, you know, kind of like snug in there. And of course, I'll heat this up a little bit and squeeze those two ends together. I like the controls here, which I think is cool. This wheel, though, feels just really not very good. I was thinking if I did decide to use this, there's just something off with it. I would put some foam here, maybe. Um, there is a lot of uh, spring action there. It's a little bit tense, but I just, I just don't know. We'll have to see. I'm definitely probably going to use my radio link receiver, but I'll probably have it out once or twice with this thing and try not to crash it or anything, but it looks amazing. Um, let me get the um, body on and I'll get some more shots of this. Maybe some different lighting around the house. And then uh, I'll do some update videos here as I go and some comparisons to the Creighton. Wow, look at how that fits on there. Really nice. I like the color. Yeah, I kind of do feel like the 3S is a little cooler looking um, to me. It's just brighter and a little bit more fun, but that's just me. But what I will probably do if Arma comes out with another version, like a V5 anytime soon, I'll probably end up updating the body. But it looks pretty good. I mean, it's a good looking machine. Uh, let me get just one clip on over here uh, so that we can get everything on right. And uh, is that off? Okay. So everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna clip this in here real fast and then we'll get a video. Uh, of this thing is some different lighting here Always real tight in the beginning. So let's take a look Why is that not setting right something's something's bumping it up or something like that? Under there, but we'll figure it out. So let's get some <clears throat> Wow, look at that pretty nice Pretty nice. Look at that typhoon. Yeah, so what I noticed was that essentially body is this kind of matte color and I was wondering why a lot of these didn't look super shiny and that's the reason so as compared to the Creighton where you have a lot of shine and stuff you're not going to see that same kind of uh, shine on these they're a little more matted but man that looks ridiculously mean and fast and amazing just incredible so we're going to be uh, sharing some updates with you guys and some videos let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the remote. Oh, I know what happened. It's that silly old Spectrum antenna that is not going through the hole. So that's the problem. So anyway, wasn't expecting that and I just threw it on. So that's another reason maybe to switch the remote. Deal with a little hole right here. What would you guys recommend to cover that up? I don't really want to do a screw, although I really don't care um, if there is a hole there. But what do you think? And let me know.